What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. We had some history made in t- Tuesday night's NBA game between the Celtics and the Bucks. We're going to talk about it. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and click that follow button. NBA regular season is winding down, so a lot of teams are still jockeying for positions. But over in the Eastern Conference, the Bucks and the Celtics have pretty much solidified where they're going to be uh, this coming uh, playoff season, where they're going to be seated. But they both made history last night. Uh, there was only two free throw attempted in the whole game between the Celtics and the Bucks. By the way, Milwaukee is my born city. So this was very unusual. So you're telling me a 48-minute NBA game, 12-minute quarters, there was only two free throws attempted. And they both, get this, were by the Bucks. So the Celtics even made more history because they became the first team to not even attempt a free throw in a NBA game. You talk about what a weird game. So what that tells me, just my opinion, was the referees swallowed their whistles last night and they let these teams play basketball. Now, I didn't watch the game, so I can't say that there were some fouls missed. Don't know. But uh, according to the players, uh, they've noticed that the uh, fouls calls have been down this second half of the season. Uh, Coach Rivers for the Bucks says he thought it was a physical game, and he was kind of shocked when they handed him the stat sheet and, and showed that there were only uh, two free throws attempted. Uh, that was his reaction. Uh, Boston Celtics star Jason Tatum would also say that, you know, maybe the refs are just gearing up for the playoffs where they, they're not going to call a lot of fouls. He said, I guess they're just getting us ready for playoff basketball. But it was kind of surprising that no no fouls were called. Not a lot of fouls were called or free throws attempted because a buck center Giannis Antetokounmpo leads the lead in free throws attempts with 780. Uh, Milwaukee's Damian Lillard, Dane Dollar, he's ranked seventh in the league with 494 free throw attempts. And uh, Jason T- uh, Jason Tatum for the Celtics, he's also up there in the category. He's eighth with 488 free throws attempted this season. So for this game to go 48 minutes uh, with only two free throw attempts and they both were by Giannis and he only made one of those, that is kind of crazy. I've never never heard of that. I've watched many, many basketball games and this is very unusual. And oh, by the way, this game was played under two hours. It was over in an hour and 57 minutes. So that tells you what that's going to be. So is this a precursor to the playoffs? Will the referees uh, not call fouls or what we may deem a foul, will they let them play? We always say, let them play. The ticky-tack fouls, don't, you know, we've always said that the NBA officiating has kind of been subpar. Uh, so are they going to let these guys play and play through some of the bumps and, and the touches? So we're going to see. So again, oh, by the way, the Bucks did get the win last night. Uh, too. So uh, we're going to see uh, what's going to be happening in the playoffs. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Only two free throws attempted in a NBA game. That made history. Uh, what would you like to see? Would you like to see more of this? Referees letting them play. I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that notification bell to be alerted with new content and live streams are headed your way. Again, don't forget to hit that follow button. And again, make sure you talk to me in the comments. I'm Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side. And on the next report, I am out. Peace.